Hi, welcome or welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to go over some structures that are extremely important for the advanced exam. They come up in speaking, in writing, in use of English, you name it. So this is actually a two part video series. So in the first part, we go over the basics to make sure that you can use these structures perfectly. And then in the second video, we're going to give you some more advanced examples so you can really master your use of these. In each video, we're going to give you some practice tasks so you can really test your knowledge and see how well you can use these structures. There's also going to be some PDF handouts. So that's a nice little takeaway from us to you to help you with your self-study after the videos. So if you're preparing for the Cambridge Advanced Exam or you want to perfect your grammar before taking it, then I highly suggest you subscribe to Home Studies. So as you might know, there are four basic conditional structures. We have the zero conditional, which is possible at any time, but most commonly in the present. The first conditional, which is possible in the future, the second conditional, which is impossible in the present and possible, but pretty improbable in the future. And the third conditional, which is impossible in the past. And the tense that we use in the conditional structure depends on two things. Number one, the time of the condition. So this is if it's in the past, the present or the future and the likelihood of the event. So how possible or impossible we think that event is. Before we go any further, let's check and see how much you already know. So here are four conditional statements. Pause the video and think about the condition and the likelihood of these events. And then also you can look at the form of the sentences and decide which is which. So which is the zero, the first, the second, and the third conditional? Press play when you're ready to check your answers. I think I'd, so I would, miss the city if we moved away, is an example of the second conditional. It talks about an unlikely future event. The next one is the zero conditional. So if I eat nuts, I have an allergic reaction. So this is a general truth. The third one is the first conditional. If you're hungry, I'll start making dinner. So this is a real future possibility. And for the last one, if I'd known you were in hospital, I'd have come sooner. So there you've got I'd for I had and I'd for I would, okay? And this is an example of the third, which is an impossible past event. In case you missed the download in the previous video, make sure you get it now, okay? It's a free download and it's a conditionals 101 of everything you need to know about how, when, and why to use these structures. So just click the link below. Now, by using modal verbs, you can change the meaning of a conditional statement. So remember, modal verbs change the mood of a sentence. That's their superpower. For the first conditional, besides will, we can use a number of other modals, such as can, may, or should. So for example, if you're struggling with the task, I can help you. So I will be able to help you if you need it. Or if they keep playing well, they should win the match. So this is a prediction about the possible future outcome of the match. Now we can also use should instead of if. And this is an interesting example because in this case, should means if by any chance. For example, should you see Pam, can you give her this charger? Or if by any chance you see Pam, can you give her this charger? Now by using should in this way, it makes the action less likely. So I think you probably won't be seeing Pam. 
For the second conditional, we most commonly use the modal verbs would, could, or might. So in this case, if she had a better chair, she would have less backache is a definite result. So we feel sure that a good chair would solve her back problems. But if we use might instead, then it's more of a possible result. Both situations are imagined, but the would makes it more likely. So in this case with might, we're not sure what the outcome will be. Like might, could is also used to talk about possibility, but we can also use could if we want to talk about ability, so what people are able to do. So in this instance, he could save time if he worked from home. In other words, he would be able to save time if he didn't need to travel so far to work. Let's look at would versus could in the context of the third conditional. So for example, if I had gone to university, I would have become a lawyer. This is a definite past result. So I would have been a lawyer and I would not have considered any other possible careers. Law was the only thing for me to have done. But if I had gone to university, I could have become a lawyer has a different meaning. It would have been possible. I would have been able to do that, but it's not certain what the outcome of the imaginary situation would have been. Now, we can sometimes vary conditionals by mixing the tenses. Let me show you exactly what I mean by telling you a little bit more about myself. So about five years ago, I was at a New Year's Eve party and I didn't actually even want to be there as I usually spend New Year's in bed trying to escape the crowds and the fireworks. It's just not my thing. But my friend made me go to this party and I'm so glad she did because that is where I met my future husband. So if I hadn't gone to the party, I wouldn't have met my husband. So that is a past result. But we can also say, if I hadn't gone to the party, I wouldn't be married. So that is a present result that talks about my situation today. So the second example is a classic mixed conditional. And what I mean by a mixed conditional is that it mixes clauses. So the if clause, if I hadn't gone, is in the past, so that's the third conditional. And the result clause, I wouldn't be, is in the present, so that's the second conditional. Another example is something like, if I hadn't lived in Peru, I wouldn't speak Spanish. But I did live there in the past, so I do speak Spanish now. Speaking of Spanish, when I got my cat, I named her Gatita, or Little, little Kitty, um, but I ended up changing it to Princesa because she is just such a princess. Oh my goodness, she's always climbing on furniture and scratching it to pieces. So I just got her this kind of cat castle. And if I didn't have a cat, I would never have bought this thing. It's a ridiculous thing to have in my living room, but I do have a cat, so I did buy it in the end. This is another mixed conditional. So why is this a mixed conditional? Well, it's because we have the if clause from the second conditional that refers to the present situation, if I didn't have a cat, and the result clause is in the past using the third conditional, so I would never have bought this thing. Now, another example would be something like, if I had taken a tablet, I wouldn't have such a terrible headache now. The meaning being, I didn't take the tablet, so now I have a terrible headache. These are my best friends, June and Rebecca, and we have been friends for ages, since primary school actually. Nowadays, we don't get to see each other very often, you know, because life gets in the way. But when we do, it's brilliant, and our time together never seems to be long enough. So, I could say to them, if you weren't leaving tonight, we would have had more time together. But they are leaving this evening. Their flight tickets are booked, so we don't have any more time together. 
So this is probably the most difficult of the mixed conditionals because we've got the if clause in the second conditional referring to the future and the result clause in the third conditional referring to the past. So if you weren't leaving, so that is the second, we would have had more time together. So here, this is like a missed opportunity. It's something that we didn't get the chance to do, which is why it's in the third. So another example of this would be, if you weren't flying to Paris, I would have organized a party for your birthday, but I didn't organize one because you are flying in the near future. In conditional sentences, we most commonly use if or when, but that's not to say that there aren't other options. Now, as an advanced user of English, you should definitely try to make use of some of these variations, so don't always stick to if. In the exam especially, you don't want to play it too safe. In real conditional sentences, so this is like zero or first, we can use unless instead of if not. So for example, it will be hard to get a job unless you have experience. In other words, it will be difficult to get a job if you don't have experience. To be honest, if not is more common than unless in questions and unreal conditional sentences. So by unreal conditionals, I'm talking about the second conditional. So some examples could be, how will you get a job if you don't have experience? Or if you didn't speak English, you'd find it hard to get a job. So you could say you'd find it hard to get a job unless you spoke English. That is grammatically correct and it is possible. It just doesn't sound like the most natural option. So bear that in mind. So unless can also mean only if. For example, she can't come to the party unless she finds a babysitter. So she'll be only able to come if she gets a sitter. Another example would be something like, I won't lend you any more money unless you ask nicely. In other words, I'll only lend you money if you ask me nicely. There are a number of other expressions that can be used at the beginning of conditional clauses to mean only if. So this is really important that you try to introduce a bit of variety into the ones you use in your speaking and in your writing, especially in the exam. These can also come up in Use of English Part 4, by the way, so definitely worth knowing. So these alternative expressions are things like so long as or as long as providing that or provided that, on condition that. For example, you can use the car so long as you don't drive too fast. Or you can use the car on condition that you don't drive too fast. You can use the car provided that you don't drive too fast. So in all of these examples, it means only if you don't speed. I did say that these, these phrases can be really helpful in use of English part four. So let's practice doing some sentence transformation to work on exactly that. Rewrite each sentence below using the word or words given so that it has a similar meaning to the original sentence. Do not change the word or words given. Okay, so pause the video, do the task and press play when you're ready to check your answers. So, how did that go? Have you mastered the variations of if yet? Well, again, please pause the video and check your answers. And do keep in mind that we can use these expressions, these phrases, with present or future conditions. So we cannot use them with a third conditional. All of these examples here are in the zero, the first, or the second. So do keep that in mind. That's an important little grammatical note. Okay, so now it's over to you. Let's see how well you can use the language from today's videos in your own writing. So, use the prompts to make conditional statements that are true for you. Number one, if I pass the advanced exam. Number two, I'll pass the advanced exam unless. And number three, I'd feel more confident about taking the advanced exam if.
So let's see what kind of ideas you can come up with and we'll give feedback on your grammar if you are one of the first and or most interesting commenters. So good luck, go ahead and we'd love to hear from you. Well, that's going to do it. I hope you're feeling really good now about using conditionals in your advanced exam. If you do need any additional help with your grammar or your skills in general, then go ahead and get in touch with Home Studies. I'm sure we can help you. And in the meantime, if you do feel like you got something from this video, please give us a like, share us on your socials, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the videos in our series. Have a great day, and I hope I'll be seeing you again soon.